life has a lot of complications. You have work, you have school, you have home, you have kids, and any number of variables that can go wrong on a single day could set you totally off. In math, systems of equations represent the instability of the world. They are equations that have two different variables. So in one equation, you can have two unknowns. As we all know in life, this is not an ideal situation and it makes solving for one variable or the other impossible unless you have another equation to go by which leads us to why you need a system of equations. In order for you to solve an equation with two unknowns, you need another equation with the same two unknowns. Then you can solve for whatever you're missing, either X or Y in most cases. What this means is that in order for you to solve for two unknowns in a single equation, you need another equation. You need a system of equations, at least two, in order for you to achieve this goal. Systems of equations has been around since the dawn of algebra. They can be used in a lot of useful ways and they can be solved in equally amount of interesting ways three ways in particular of which we'll discuss beginning of this video next video and the following one such method is known as elimination method another is graphing and a third is substitution today we're going to tackle the topic of elimination what the elimination method essentially does is allow you to eliminate one of the variables so as though you can isolate the other in both equations because remember we're dealing with a system of equations too. Once you do that, you can easily solve for one variable, x or y. This problem is best explained by me starting off simply with rules. So there are basically four main steps you need to take when trying to solve a system of equations. And I'm going to list them. The first step, line up one equation on top of the other equation. This way you know exactly where you stand in terms of the variables that you have and the variables you can try to eliminate. Step two, choose a variable. Your goal in this step is going to be to try to find the exact opposite of that variable and its coefficient. So if you're given a coefficient and variable of 5y, you're going to need a negative 5y directly below it in the other simultaneous equation. Once you find that, you're ready to go on to step three. Add or in some cases subtract the two equations. You do this so as though you can eliminate one of the variables. Since they're the exact opposites or the inverses of each other, when you add, you can eliminate. From there, you should get a solution for at least one of the variables. You can go on to step four at that point and replace that variable that you found, x or y, into one of the initial equations, as you see in this video. Once you complete the operation and isolate the variable that you didn't know before, you will have your solution for both x and y. So let's stop talking. Let's see some examples in play. I'm not gonna talk as much, so you can just see what we do on screen. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. The first problem reads, 6x minus 5y equal eight as one of the equations and negative 12x plus 2y equals zero. You will see the steps being put into place before you. Leaving us with an answer of x equaling one third and a value answer of y equaling negative two. Next problem, problem reads this. Two x plus three y equals 20, and seven x plus two y equals 53. First, form, yeah, we've got that. Second, opposites, no, we ain't got that. So, we're gonna seek to find the opposites of one of the variables, and of course, the coefficients. So, to do that, I'm gonna examine both problems. The variable that I'm liking the most to try to eliminate is going to be the y, because they have the small numbers. Smaller numbers are always easier. I'm going to try to get the exact opposite as you see on screen. Then we're going to add, that's step three. We're going to add and solve in one step, leaving us a value of seven. The final step is going to be to replace this seven back into one of the original equations. Let's go with the top because again, the numbers are smaller. As you can see, we're just looking for the letter Y, leaving us an answer with two. So again, let's just recap all the steps that we need in order for us to solve a system of equation using the elimination or addition subtraction method as is known. First step, make sure all your letters and both equations are actually lined up. This is critically important because you need to be able to have a clear picture in order for you to be able to solve a system of equation. Two, make sure or try to get opposites of variables. That's the key takeaway from this lesson. The opposites of the variables will create inverse 
inverses, obviously, and the inverses can be used to eliminate each other, leaving you with just one variable. Two equations with two unknowns is a little difficult, but two equations with one unknown, well, that's a hell of a lot simpler. Step three, add and or solve. So you add, then you may be forced to divide depending upon what the equation is asking for. So you include that all in one step. Step four, replace it back into one of the original equations. When you replace it back into one of the original equations, you can find the other variable that was missing. And voila, done. System of equation using elimination or addition subtraction. I hope you guys found this lesson enjoyable. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back next week with the substitution method of solving the system of equations. I'm a knowledge guy, AKG. I'll see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Tell your friends.